Good evening, this is the Oscar Expert here with Brother Bro at the Toronto Film Festival, and it's time to review American Fiction, directed by Cord Jefferson. This is his directorial debut. This is about a black writer who's fed up with the way that black people are stereotyped in the media, and especially in literature, and how the market of a white audience seems to dominate the kinds of stories that are being told about them. And this is a story of his pushback and rebellion against that, where he basically becomes a massive troll and creates a book that he thinks is garbage and the rest of the world absolutely eats it up. It's a really intriguing plot. The story itself is ripe with interesting themes. I think it does justice to that. I found, found that this film was very thought provoking and I definitely had to have a conversation with myself after the film, even interrogating my own expectations for what this film was supposed to be versus what it was, because the film itself attempts to defy the expectations you might have for a story about black characters. And I think the commentary there works really well. I actually think that's a pretty strong point of the film, but there are other parts that I think are a little less strong. I feel like this movie has two modes. One of them is when it is really going hard on that satire and Jeffrey Wright's character is just bitter and letting out his steam, really. Yeah, and in those parts, the movie is absolutely on fire. Yeah. Uh, the dialogue Hilarious. is really funny and super clever, and it's absolutely, like, hitting all the mm. targets that it is intending mm. to hit in a way that people will find really enjoyable and very funny, and yeah. Jeffrey Wright is perfect at delivering this witty dialogue and playing this character. There are some jokes in this film that are very memorable because they're so good. The other mode is family drama. And I love a movie that delves deep into the character and maybe, you know, their family's history as a way of getting to know them. And this movie does that. But I actually ended up feeling that it was bloated and there were too many threads within the family. And sometimes I was wishing that it would get back to the satire or expand that a little bit more. In retrospect, I do understand why it did that. I think it was trying to do two things at once and I just favored one thing that it was doing more. And because that was sort of my mindset, I was also waiting on certain scenes to happen and certain confrontations to occur that I knew would just be juicy and it definitely builds up to those points of hilarity but I also felt like I waited maybe a little too long for those to occur and I thought a couple of those moments were omitted. Moments that I thought would have deepened the character and challenged his very firm convictions in a way that would have been valuable to see. The character has so much disdain for the average literary reader that feels like very agreeable, but there's also characters in his life who he trusts and those characters also seem to read the same fiction. And that's where I would have liked to see that tension play out a little bit more. And I feel like that was sidestep. And the other point of contention I have here is I don't know how I feel Feel about the ending and I'm even confused with people who seem to love it that they understand the point of the ending because I find it a little bit confusing what we're supposed to take away although I think it is powerful and it does go for a big swing so I don't knock it for what it went for there's definitely layers to this film and I think the ending may work well for some layers but maybe not others I thought the movie did a great job challenging its main character and a couple of key scenes and I agree that I think it could have pushed even a little bit further Further. One of the things I really like about this movie is the way that I'm grappling with my own criticisms of it, where I'm almost going back and forth because I think that the movie might have some really good points counter to things that I think, and that's because the movie took some storytelling risks, has some interesting meat. I'm glad that Jeffrey Wright has a lead role like this. He absolutely kills it. Yeah. Maybe his best performance that I've yeah. seen from him. Super fun. Love his dry comedy. And I think that that character was a really good dissection of a withdrawn type of personality, too. And I think the entire ensemble here is very strong. Sterling K. Brown was very good. Sterling K. Brown and Tracy Ellis Ross, I would say, are, the, are some supporting standouts. There are a lot of supporting standouts. Yeah. I can name like five people. John Ortiz is also really funny in his role. And you know what? If this is a comedy, I wonder if this could get a comedy actor at Golden Globe. Oh, it must be locked I in. I think it honestly. should be. It must be locked yeah. in. I actually might like this film more on reflection than I did when I was watching it and so I'm not sure if my feelings would change on a second watch. I did think the filmmaking was a little bit bland like I didn't love the cinematography I thought the music was fine. As far as the first viewing goes I'm a 7 out of 10 on it. I mean at the very least it's interesting it's different it actually goes for something. I think I'd go with a very high 7 out of 10. Boy is the writing really great in mm -hmm. a lot of places and messy as it may be it's still interestingly messy. I think there may end up being a little bit of Oscar buzz for the film's script and for Jeffrey Wright. My feeling right now is that it would fall short of those nominations, but maybe there is some buzz there. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Do you like writing bad fiction just for fun?